Hey guys, what's going on? Pride of London here. You know what to do. Subscribe, like the videos. As I said before, views and subscribers have been insane recently. So thank you very much for all that. But today we are talking about Isco, the Real Madrid player, and how Chelsea have been offered the opportunity to sign him and apparently a £47 million bid has been in put in place uh, for the midfielder. So Real Madrid are looking to offload Isco. Um, because they want to bring in Christian Eriksen for about 50 million. So they're trying to pretty much make up the entire sum that they're going to be paying for Eriksen. And they are thinking they don't fancy Isco anymore, offload him, get Eriksen in. They think that's an upgrade. Uh, personally, I'd be very happy to have Isco at Chelsea. I th it's been a thing that's a move that's been rumoured quite a lot over the years. And it's never really come into fruition. But. It's possible because Chelsea are looking for some attacking options. Obviously, he'd play in the number 10 role. I think he can play wing a little bit. But mostly number 10 where like Mason Mount plays. And what a player for Mason Mount to learn from. You know, Isco has played at the highest level at Real Madrid for years now. So that would be a good a good mentor for him. Um, but we're, we're looking through this article. Basically, the rumour is... Um, Chelsea are looking to get some more creative creativity in the midfield because, as I've said before, we struggle to break down teams at times. Uh, about fifty-two million euros, which is about forty-seven million uh, pounds, that could be with uh, add-ons and you know clauses and such. Um, apparently, Isco is more interested in joining Manchester City because David Silva is going to be leaving soon, obviously because he's getting older. Um, so that is an, uh, a possibility as well that he'll go to Man City, which I could see happening. To be fair. Um, but Real Madrid offered Chelsea the chance to sign him for forty-four million, um, and they're trying to make move for Eriksson. Uh, his uh, agent has been contacted, and apparently Chelsea are doing everything to try and sign Isco before the end of January. So that'd be a pretty insane signing for us to get because I wasn't expecting much this January transfer window. We can go on to his uh, transfer market page, and as you can see, his value is about forty-five million. So it's not bad for you know estimated value. Um, we are get we would be getting a player that is very you know good good value for money. Obviously, won Champions League four times, Spanish league, Spanish cup, uh, Spanish super cup, and the World Cup four times with Spain. So a very that's not even it. There's more along the side if we go. Here we go. You can see all these trophies that he's won. Super Cup three times, European under-21, whatever. Um, he is a very decorated player, to say the least. He's done a lot for Real Madrid. Um, you can see here his main position is attack midfield. Can play a bit of left wing. I see the same here, if you want to see another thing. Mid, like Deeper in the central midfield, further up, uh, the left midfield and left wing. He has been performing better as of recent at left wing, getting a goal and assist in six games, which isn't too bad, you know. One in three games, he's providing a goal or goal contribution. Uh, his current, like his average at the moment is only a 6.8, and that's from 26 appearances. He's got four goals, one assist. So he's not been, his passing success rate as well, 88%, so it's pretty solid. He's not been, you know, the the insane player that, We've seen, although a lot of those games I think are coming off the bench, sort of trying to have a bit of an impact late on because he's not starting all that much at the moment. So he is probably quite up for a move as well, as we saw. He could be interested in Man City as well. Uh, he's 27 years old, so if we're paying about 50 million, that's not bad because he is in his prime right now. He'd go on for maybe another, could be like a David Silver, another like five years at the top, maybe. Um, he is a very very good player in my eyes this is just my personal opinion uh, we can see his characteristics so we'll go weaknesses aerial duels not great and finishing can be a bit dodgy uh, his strengths are passing through balls dribbling holding onto the ball tackling and blocking the ball so he's good for a sort of pressing system like we have in the sort of blocking the ball and trying to you know mason mount just sort of runs around the attacking like uh, the back four sorry of the opposition just trying to pressure them trying to block the ball from being passed, that is something he'd be good at as well, and something Mason would probably even learn from him to be to improve on his game. And his passing is obviously insane. He I don't know if you've ever watched him play, he is a good passer of the ball. His style of play gets fouled often, so a bit of an Eden Hazard, you know, wins his free kicks and 
we've got some players that can do well on free kicks at the moment, so wouldn't be the too too bad of a thing to be getting more of those. Likes to lay off the ball, play short passes, and he likes to tackle. So that all sounds pretty good to me. His best game as of recent was in the 2-1 win against Deportivo Alaves with a 7.32 rating. And I think he might have got an assist that game. He definitely didn't get a goal. But yeah, I quite like the look of this guy. I'd be very happy to sign him for that fee as well. That's not bad at all. Um, Pep Guardiola is going to be interested in him, I would think, because like he said... Uh, David Silva is on his way out, so there could be room for Isco to move into this team. And uh, I'd be gutted to, gutted to see him go to Man City just because, you know, the, the past few years they've been quite dominant. Obviously, Liverpool are this season, but in general, City have been quite dominant. And having Isco come into that team is just it's an improvement again. And it would be pretty insane. But let me know what you think. I'll leave a poll up in the top right of your screen. If you want to hit yes or no, let me know. Should we sign Isco? I personally think yes. And that, that fee, that's quite a nice fee as well. Because I feel like in his prime, you could see him going, like, as in his prime age is now. But when he's playing his best, he's worth, like, 70, 80 million. If Maguire's worth, like, 80 million, then this guy easily is. Let me know what you guys think. Again, thank you for subscribing. If you guys could subscribe, I think about 90% of my views have been from non-subscribed people. So if you could subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Uh, like the video, comment down below anything you have to say about Isco or whatever, Chelsea, whatever you want to talk about. And I'll see you next time, guys.